What's up, everyone? Deuces Jack at VapingInsider.com. And today, I had to break out my vaping brick. Yeah, man. I got my Laissimo F4. But what's more important is what's on top. I got the Steam Crave Glaze RSDA sitting on top of this big boy. 30 millimeter RDA, glass top cap, modular deck for series builds, but it also is a come standard as a postless deck two different airflow rings let's cut down low let me show you everything i'll show you how to put the modular deck together we're even going to put a series build in it see you down low all right everyone welcome to the download portion of this video today we're going to be going over the steam crave glass rdsa i'm pretty sure that s stands for series rebuildable dripping series atomizer because it does come with a series deck extension 31 millimeters in diameter we'll do a quick tour around the box on the back you can pause that if you want to read it comes with an included squonk pin i don't know any other mod you can really use with a 31 millimeter atomizer except for the lost vape drone you get two glass caps that are trinity style glass caps the nice thing about these trinity style glasses First of all, you get two. Second of all, they're really, really nice. I mean, some people aren't going to like that they that you're going to see some condensation on them, but these are really high quality. The drip tip's built in. It doesn't really get that hot unless you really chain vape with a, with a super hot build. I haven't particularly noticed that they get super hot. And man, they did a great job by including two it's just a real clean look that i've been enjoying i never really had a glass topper like this before so it's been something new for me but i definitely like it you get a spare afc control ring and this is where your deck would be i have that out of the box at the moment we'll go over that in a second let's go over the contents of the box inside the box you will get a user manual laid out pretty simply Okay, you also get a tri-tool, and you get a bunch of spare deck screws. You get your series post deck right there. I'm going to show you that later on in the video, and there is your squonking pin. Let's go over the deck real quick. Here is the deck. This is the build I have installed in there right now. I'm not going to take it out now. I will take it out at the end of this portion of the video and show you how to install the series deck. Here is your airflow right here. So you want to get your coil as close as you can to that airflow. The deck has an almost uh, Lego type of feel to it because you can put the series deck in here and run two coils as one. So instead of cutting your resistance in half, it's actually going to double your resistance. Here are your wicking slots right here. It's a big deck, 31 millimeters in diameter. The nice thing about this thing is here is your bottom airflow right here. Stoppers on both ends. Whatever you adjust on one side happens on the other side. The really cool thing about this is you see the black AFC ring right now. There's also a stainless steel AFC ring. You can pull this black one off and put the stainless steel AFC ring on if you want to match it up with the mod that you're running. That's a really nice touch. It's almost like getting two... RDSAs in one because you're able to swap them out. I like that. On the bottom of the atomizer, we have some Steam Crave branding, stainless steel 510 with an insulator ring around it. That does come out, and you can use the included squonking pin. Stainless steel threading over here, glaze or glass RDSA with a serial number. Nice job on the machining, as always, with Steam Crave products. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to yank this build out of here and I'm going to install the series deck and show you how to install series coils on this deck. Okay, so in order to get this series deck installed, you get these little pins, right? These little peak insulator pins. What you want to do is you want to shove them in these ports right there, right? So what you want to do is you want to get these pins installed and... I found using a pliers to kind of get them deep in there kind of works well, right? Once they're situated in there, you want to take your grub screws and you want to tighten them down on them. 
Now remember, they're only plastic. They're only peak, so don't tighten them down like a maniac. You don't want to crack them because they didn't give you any spares. Once you get that part assembled, you want to take the center post of your deck and you want to open them up. You could also run a coil in here if you want to. You totally could do that. But I want to try the negative deck. So we're going to take this and we're going to slip this piece in there just like that. See that? That's what they mean by configurable deck. Okay, modular deck. This is the modular part of it. Now you want to tighten those screws down too. And again, you don't want to go crazy because it's only plastic in there. Now what you have here is you open these post holes here and basically it's going to turn your two coils into one. Kind of cool, right? And what that's going to do is that's going to double your resistance instead of cutting it in half. Coils we're going to be using today are some Hawk coils, staggered staple, 0.2 ohms, which means we should come in at around 0.4. Check those coils out, nice and beefy. All right, I want to show you what I did while we were off camera. I kind of bent this lead like a half a turn out, and then this lead I twisted because I want it to lay in this deck flat like that. Okay? So now what we're going to do is we're going to take our leads and we're going to put them in place just like this, right? So now you hold it there like that and you want to tighten your side down on the new post that we just installed. And don't go crazy. Just give it a nice little snug tighten down. And now on this side over here is where we're going to tighten down this lead. Okay, now you want to take your coiling rod and you just want to bend it over that airflow right there. Get it as close as you can to that airflow. So it looks something like that. I'm going to show you how I, how I got that coil to be. I took this coil lead measuring tool, right, and I cut my one lead at four right there. Okay. So we want to take that one and we want to cut it at four, right? Then I took my coiling rod and I bent this lead out so it makes an L almost, right? Like a half a turn. So it looks something like that, okay? And now you want to take this lead and grab yourself a needle nose pliers and you want to kind of twist it outward so it'll catch flush on the new post that we just did. Now what we're going to do is we're going to cut this last lead off and that's what it should look like. Something like that. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put this on the coil master and we're going to see what it ohms out at. Just like I said we're ohming out at around 0.47 right now. That's probably going to change a little bit. Let's give this a nice gentle pulse and see where we're at. So basically, I'm running two monster coils in here, and my resistance is 0.4. There we go. We're glowing from the inside out nice and evenly. Let me show you how to wick this thing up now. Cotton we're going to be using, native wicks, platinum blend. Let's take a nice long piece of cotton, because we're going to be doing two coils. Make sure our coil master is off. We're going to feed that cotton through these big fat coils just like that then we're going to take our scissor and we're going to cut right around there same thing on the other side right just below the black base like the middle of the black base that's where you want to be now we're going to take our cotton and do the same thing on the other side eat it right through Cut your cotton the same length as the other side. Same thing over here. And now we're ready to tuck those wicks in. Take your cotton tool, do a little scooch and tuck. Same thing over here, a little scooch and tuck. Go around to the other one, same thing. Scooch and tuck, scooch and tuck. And that's it, man. You're ready for juice now. Juice we're going to be using today is Country Clouds Cornbread Pudding. Now what you want to do is you just want to... Get those wicks nice and wet. I'm going to show you a neat little trick in a minute as well. Get all that cotton started. I tell you what, I haven't even heated this stuff up yet. 
and it just smells phenomenal. Okay, so now we're all wet up, right? Now what we're going to do is we're going to put the top cap on, but I want to show you something really cool, okay? If you don't want to drip down the middle, you can just do this. Put your nozzle against the side you want to fill up, and the juice just flows to that side. Check that out. Kind of cool, right? So now you got both sides filled with juice. Now look at that. See how that just stays on that side? Pretty awesome little trick, right? Let's put this thing on a mod. Let's cut back on top. We're going to talk about it. We're going to vape on it. Cons, pros, and then we're out of here. See you back on top. All right, everyone, we're back on top with the Steam Crave Glaze RDSA. You saw it down low. I put that series build in there. Right now, I'm moving out at 0.51, and you just saw me rock it at 100 watts. Yeah, man, I like those series decks. I kind of dig them. They're different. They're interesting. They're fun to build with. I definitely like that. This thing, you saw it, man. It's a cloud beast, okay? Has fantastic flavor as well. Easy to build and wick. You can drip right down the middle, or you can use that little trick that I showed you by putting the nozzle on the side. Steam Crave doesn't release a ton of stuff, and I like that about them. They only release a couple of products a year, but when they do, their stuff is normally very high quality, and this one is no different. Now, the only thing that you gotta do, you gotta make sure about is you gotta, it's a 30 millimeter. RDA, so you got to use this on something with a center mounted 510 or something without any overhang. But other than that, man, this thing's a, an absolute complete beast. It really is. You want to vape in beast mode? Pick yourself up one of these. Let's get into the cons and pros. First con is going to be the cap, that glass top cap, that's going to bother some OCD people because they're not going to like the condensation. It's really not a con that affects anything, but some people are not going to like it. The modular deck also, it may be intimidating for some people. Hopefully you watch this video and you don't find it too intimidating. On to the pros. First pro is going to be, I love the looks of it. Look at that thing, man. Looks awesome. Love it. Pro for that. Flavor is on point. Pro. Plumes of clouds. Pro. Build quality. Typical steam crave. That's going to be a pro. Two AFC rings. You get a black one and a stainless steel one. Awesome. You can rock it on different mods. I like that. Pro. Two glass top caps. I like that. Pro. I like the fact that you can run a series build on that modular deck. Pro. Easy to build and easy to wick. Pro. You can drip right down the middle. I like that. Pro. Takes massive coils. You saw that big series build I put in there. You can put some chunky coils in here. I like that. Pro. Does not leak or weep. This thing's dry, man. I thought with that glass top, I was going to have like a lot of condensation around the bottom and everything. Not None at all, man. It's dry as it comes. We'll give them a pro for that. Nice tolerance on the O-rings. Pro for that. Smooth airflow. Pro. Tons of airflow. Pro. And the price point. Price point is $45. $45 for this little monster. That's fantastic price point. I think that's a go. No doubt about it. Make sure you check out the links down below as to where you can buy this awesome 30 millimeter rda also check out our link to vapinginsider.com forward slash forum we're also going to have a link down below to the juice that i was using today that uh cornbread pudding fantastic vape goes great with coffee and hey man remember you're in the no promotion zone we do reviews here we don't do promotions they don't exist here that's why i'm always a little late to the game sometimes because i actually use the stuff i don't just throw up a review looking to get the first few clicks on it. So do us a favor, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button. This way you're notified every time we drop a new review. We're dropping a ton of content. We're going to see you on the next one. You keep living that vape life. We're out of here. Deuces.